They want to know what Gunga Gunga is. Oh, you're looking at it right there. And the reason we call it Gunga Gunga is when you pick it up and it wraps around your hand a few times, it's like, ooh, what is that? That's Gunga Gunga. And to me, anything that's slimy and disgusting, you wouldn't want to touch, you wouldn't want to eat, you wouldn't want to put in your face, is Gunga Gunga. I can't believe I'm doing this. Anybody else care for a bite? Yeah, Here, I'll try that. But not two people in the same family. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god. It's a bit sandy. It is a bit sandy, I'm sorry. No, no. <laughs> So let's get him over to the island, see what's going right. on. I left the kid with the promises huh? of going snorkeling, but... Um, it's not a food. That's probably not going to happen. <laughs> it's not a food. It's barely a plant. It's growing here. It's a macro algae because it's larger than life. It's smothering the eelgrass. So here's a little eelgrass plant down here, which is just about surviving. You can see the Gunga Gunga is taking over. There's another form of it. This is sea lettuce or ulva. And all this stuff, this macroalgae, is smothering the submerged aquatic vegetation. And this is what we're trying to deal with through the whole nitrogen pollution project. We've got to get the nitrogen out of the bay. We've got to do that by reducing the non-point source pollution. I feel we've got to do it through education because the education is the way to go. To get people to understand that what they put on their yards in Jackson, which is in Ocean County, way in the western part, is running from their yards down into the storm drains in the streets, running into the creeks, running into the rivers, running into the bay. And as a result, Gunga Gunga. Hi, welcome to Salty's. I'm Britta Wenzel, otherwise known as Mrs. Salty. What's Britta stand for? What does Britta it mean? is a Swedish word. It means clean water. In New Jersey, I am uh, running for the 10th District Senate seat. We're looking for clean water in our ocean, in our bay, and out of the water pipes to drink from. Britta for clean water. Dude, they have oatmeal flavor. Willie is probably the strongest advocate for things politically in this bay of anybody around here. This here is Oyster Creek and Oyster Creek used to go in and out with the tide and up and down with the tide. That's what it would like to do. But Oyster Creek is the exit canal for the oldest nuclear power plant in the United States, the Oyster Creek Nuclear Generating Station. The license runs out at 40 years old in 2009 and they want to renew the license for, for 20 more years. So you've got about a billion and a half gallons a day that's sucked out of Barnegat Bay through a backward running river north of here. And then it is strained of life and what's, what microorganisms might be left are superheated inside the plant because this is the cooling system we're talking about. And then it comes out Oyster Creek with biocide sprayed into it, having been at high pressure and high temperature. And then it comes into Oyster Creek. And it's very toasty. The further out you go, the warmer the water gets. It just gets warmer, 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 warmer. It's totally warm here. I would take a bath if it weren't so dirty. It's straining life from the bay. There's a very simple technological fix. You just build cooling towers but they're doing this cheap and dirty and lazy. And so Barnegat Bay gets the life strained out of it every single day, 24 hours a day. This is crab shells. And Willie has volunteered to be a, a, a compost for us. I don't have a compost pile, but now I'm gonna have one. <laughs> We're very excited to be the first uh, bit of uh, organic matter in Willie DeCamp's compost pile. Make a Y for yurt. <laughs> okay. Good? I think that's wonderful. Yeah, you can do one in every state. Thank you, yurt. Thank you for Thank making you, a compost pile in my yard. <laughs>